Bossler's S series are big tough reels with absolutely no compromise in terms of materials, technology, or handling. They're designed and built to withstand years of heavy use in the toughest of saltwater conditions. S series reels come in three different models based on line weight and backing capacity. 7 to 9 for the S1, 8 to 10 for the S2, and 10 to 12 for the S3. Whether you're pursuing striped bass or tarpon, there's a model that's up to the task. The large neural drag knobs on S-series reels are easy to locate when it comes time to either ease up or bear down on a fish. They operate an extra large drag assembly that provides a tremendous amount of stopping power and dissipates heat well. At all levels of drag, startup is ultra smooth and consistent a real bonus when you're after a record fish in a light line class. To remove or change the spool, loosen the drag wheel so there's no drag. Loosen the spool nut with the Vossler logo on it by turning it counterclockwise one and a half times. You can then pull the spool from the frame of the reel. Notice how the spool nut stays with the reel so it won't get lost. Also, take note of the oversized drag assembly. To replace the spool, slip it over the spindle while making sure the small pin on the spool is aligned with and inserts into the hole on the spindle base plate. Then, retighten the spool nut by turning it clockwise until it's snug. All S-Series reels can be set up for either right or left hand retrieve. To change retrieve direction, follow the steps to remove the spool from the frame. With the spool removed, unscrew the spool nut with the Vossler logo and remove it from the spindle. Unscrew the single Phillips head screw and take off the gold colored locking washer at the end of the axle and spindle assembly. Remove the outer axle and base plate assembly. While holding down on the inner axle sleeve and base plate assembly, give the bearing assembly a turn. You should notice it turns in one direction but not the other. A one-way roller bearing housed inside is the reason for this. This can be seen by removing the entire bearing mechanism. Rotate the bearing mechanism 180 degrees from its original orientation and then replace it on the inner axle sleeve, making sure it's pressed all the way down to the base plate. To understand how the drag works, lift both the bearing assembly along with the inner axle sleeve and base plate assembly up and off the axle. Notice the smooth stainless steel underside of the base plate. This rides atop three carbon fiber reinforced Teflon pads, which are the heart of the reel's drag system. Turning the drag knob to increase drag tension raises the pads so they apply greater pressure on the stainless steel base plate, thus increasing drag. Elastic bumpers beneath the pads contribute to equalizing and providing uniform pressure on the disc, which results in low inertial startup and smooth braking. To reassemble the reel, place the bearing mechanism along with the inner axle sleeve and base plate assembly over the axle. Slip the outer axle sleeve and base plate assembly over top of the axle and bearing mechanism making sure the small internal pin is precisely aligned with the notch in the bearing assembly. If these two are aligned correctly, the spindle should drop down to the point where the teeth on the base axle are only barely visible. This is a rather critical step. Replace the gold lock washer, making sure it drops into the groove on the end of the axle. Retighten the screw and then replace the nut cap, but leave the nut cap only loosely tightened. You can then replace the spool as described earlier and fully tighten the nut cap. Check to make sure the retrieve side is correct and that the reel functions properly at all levels of drag. Bossler S-Series reels are the brutes of the product line. If you're looking for a reel to subdue the largest game fish species, look no further. They're attractively priced and a great value as well. <music>